Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's the Speed Test Channel, back with a video. It's been a while. This is going to be a little bit longer video. I'm wanting to do uh, various different testing scenarios uh, with the new OnePlus 13, which we've got in the middle here. We've got the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL on the left, and then the S24 Ultra on the right. I'm at my house. I'm in the upstairs. I'm in a window, as you can tell. And on that far horizon with the sunset, 8.9 miles away, is the closest and only T-Mobile Tower in the area. And I've been talking to people about how impressed I've been on the performance of the RF on the OnePlus 13. And so I just figured I'd set them here in the window of my house since it's uh, so far away. And we're gonna run through them one at a time. So we've got the Pixel here first. Um, you can see the UC icon, it's showing N25. Um, all three phones have uh, a SIM from the same commercial T-Mobile plan. Um, so we're just gonna go through them here one at a time. So 34 milliseconds of latency, 2342 on the download, 437 on the up, jitter three, 310 down, 619 up. Um, so again, it's a long shot, 8.9 miles. Um, so we're moving over here to the OnePlus 13, um, which I've been doing a bunch of testing on today. It's been really impressive. So, um, so there you have it, uh, 576 down, 13.4 up, 31 on the uh, latency, 534 on the download, 572 on the upload, jitter of 10. Um, and then moving over to the S24 Ultra, which, you know, for many would say the S24 Ultra is the undisputed um, king. Uh, now, one thing you'll see that's interesting here is the S24 actually beat the OnePlus 13 on latency, at least on the, on the, um, on the ping, which hasn't really been happening all day. Um, the OnePlus 13 has incredible latency. So there you go, uh, 532 down, 8.9 up, 29 on the ping, 518 on the loaded down, 817 on the loaded up, jitter of seven. Um, so uh, the OnePlus 13 coming in on top. Um, I know this is gonna be a longer video, but the whole point of this is to do some thorough testing. And um, so we're gonna run each test twice. I'm then gonna take and move all three phones down in my office. Um, which is much deeper inside the house, and we're going to run the same tests um, and see what. Now look at that, folks. Anybody who says the N41 doesn't work at a distance, don't believe them. This tower is 8.9 miles away. It's wirelessly backhaul with a 1.4 gigabit uh, backhaul. And I am getting 600 megabits per second down. And it's 541 in the evening at peak time. You've got lots of folks doing fixed wireless home internet in this rural region. Um, so I was telling a few friends that um, the thing with the Pixel is, is that sometimes it's inexplicably awesome. And the next times it's, it's just weird. Um, so here you have it beating the OnePlus 13 now, um, and the next time it'll just be really bad. It, it, it's not as consistent as what I've been seeing on the OnePlus. So still a good showing, 550 down, um, better pings, better upload. Um, we were testing, I was going to make mention that we are always testing the same uh, Pittsburgh server and, um, it's um you know trying to make it as uh, you know as equal as possible um so look at that 647 down um 32 on the ping so one plus still you know generally the um the latency uh king here between them um, very similar results. The OnePlus is consistently winning the upload. So 647 down, 9.25 up. Um, still impressive for that distance. So there you had it. Um, in this case, OnePlus 13 came in as the slowest. And on the previous test, it came in the fastest. So I, I really need to do a third one now. I'm just curious because um, it hadn't been 
I haven't been this way all day. I've been doing a lot of testing all day and the OnePlus 13 has consistently been faster and better than everybody else. Um, just pretty much didn't matter where I tested, indoors, outdoors, driving. Um, but this is, you know, what a lot of folks would call edge cell. Um, and so I really wanted to test that, you know, knowing that I've got a big mountain behind me, big mountains on all sides. There's no other towers that it could be switching to. And I also want to do this test on some of the other carriers. Verizon won't even test here, uh, but AT&T will do that comparison. So 581 by 9, um, very decent. I noticed here that, um, well, there the 5G UC icon came back as soon as the test started. Um, so, um, yeah, I'd like to uh, go downstairs in my office, try this on T-Mobile where I'm deep inside. You know, you're probably not going to see a 5G UC um, it's going to be, you know, much more brutal test with the fact that I'm you know, almost nine miles from the tower. Um, so while well, that's testing, let's, um, go here. So I'm showing, uh, N25, um, 108 is the RSI. Um, so I just kind of wanted to compare that. Uh, so, uh, 571 by 10, the um, 581 by 9, so still be, uh, still very, very close. Uh, let's look at the, um, so also showing, um, so one, look at that, 110 um, versus 103 on the signal, uh, both showing N25. And then 594 by 10 here, so the, um, S24 coming in with a really strong showing. Um, I wonder if T-Mobile's made optimizations. I just simply don't remember getting this good of tests uh, uh, before. Let's go back to all three here. So um, 101, N25, 102, N25, 110. Now for those of you who don't know, the higher the number, the worse the signal. So the um, interesting, this is now shown 97, which I'm almost almost wondering if that is an N71 instead of N25, and the uh, Signal Check Pro just hasn't updated because I'm a long ways from the tower. Nonetheless, um, you know, left to right pixel has the worst RF, one plus in the middle, and then the S24 showing the strongest, which checks out with what some other folks have been saying. All right, I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to set up again in my office. Okay, I'm back. I'm now set up in my office. Uh, my office is on the first floor. Um, I only have one window, and the window doesn't face the tower. Um, however, there's only one wall, but one has brick on the outside. I have wood on the inside. Um, again, 8.9 miles away from the tower. And testing <clears throat> the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL on the left. The OnePlus 13 in the middle, and the S24 Ultra on the right. So, not bad, not bad. Um, 150 down, 33 ping, 11.02 on the downloaded, uh, download loaded, 7.43 on the upload loaded, 8 millisecond jitter, 150 down, 7.9 up on the Google Pixel 9 Pro XL. Um, so 97 down, the OnePlus 13, interesting to see, um, identical pretty much on the ping, um, but better on the upload, so 97 down, 11 up, uh, 33 on the ping, 968 on the loaded latency on the download, 598 on the upload, and a 9, um, Jitter with a 11 on the upload. And so the S24 Ultra uh, coming in here with the best download, the worst latency, and the worst upload. Um, which I will say I have hands down had the worst upload on the S24 Ultra. So 175 down, um, 120 or 1.24 on the up, 42 ping. 
1228 down, 1843 up, nine jitter. I just restarted the test on the on the uh, one plus here, or I'm sorry, the pixel. Um, I'm gonna do a second round here just for nice. Um, so yeah, upload suffering uh, on the S24 Ultra. Uh, all in all, pretty decent though. And the one plus uh, coming in with the worst download and the best upload um, and tied for the best latency. So um, interesting to, to kind of see over a few tests here. Um, so we'll start the one plus while we talk about this one. So 161 um, down 19.2 up. So the upload's getting better. 31 ping. Um, you know, those load and late, load and latencies aren't great, but to be expected at this distance. And also with, you know, this really riding on the N25, which I really hear a lot of people talking smack about. You know, it's, it's terrible. It's worthless. I, I don't know. I, 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 I don't hate N25 in this area. So, um, 134 down, 10 up, um, worse latency. So, again, interesting to see. And I, I do now see N71, which that could be the difference. This hanging on N25, that's on N71. Um, so again, um, we'll switch over to that here in just a second and, and see. So a 37 ping, um, the worst upload again, best download of the three by uh, just a hair. So um, let's see if we can get some... Uh, Signal Check Pro going here and see what we're looking at. Um, yeah, so there you go. So the OnePlus has switched to NSA with uh, Band 71 and LTE, whereas the Pixel and the OnePlus, or on the uh, Pixel and the S24, both are still on NR on just simply N25. And now the um, uh, OnePlus actually totally dropped down to LTE. So like I said, we're nine miles away here. Um, it's incredible how good these devices do, um, given the distance from the tower. But I thought you guys would find it interesting. Again, I'm going to now, this is going to take me a little bit longer because I only have one Verizon SIM. I don't have three like I do T-Mobile. But uh, we're going to go through and do kind of this same thing uh, with the Verizon thing. I think I'll do a separate video for each carrier. That way they don't get so long. But... Um, yeah, happy speed testing, everybody. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, like, share, comment. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like me to test uh, between these three phones.